today, this morning, with our cup of coffee, it's early, we're going to work on a setup for Canada. It's one of the easy tracks. Uh, it was fun to run, and after that I'm going to work on Spa. It was also fun to run. Uh, high speed, high speed corners, things like that, not too technical. So uh, kind of like the Talladega, Daytona, maybe, uh, of NASCAR, if you will. Just a lot more to it than that, but you know what I mean. So without further ado, I have no setups. I'm brand new to the game, so we're going to break it down here and see what we can get done. Let's see here. Contract selection. There we go. Uh, let's see here. Session info. So let's go ahead with nothing but a preset. They and I watched the esports champion, and he said the presets were shit. So I like using maximum downforce. Just turn a couple laps with it and see what we got to compare to, where we need to improve upon. So this is what I'm running for this particular starting session. Let's go to the track. Let's do a flying lap instead of driving out. All right, we got control of the car. They gotta run them clean to get valid laps. So in time trials, it lets me run against myself, I believe. Trying to lay us a valid lap. Something just popped up up top, new position. Almost looked like it might have been a global board. I didn't get to catch it. And my vision quite perfect. Oh man. Damn, you gotta stay on the damn track. That little bit right there cost me my valid lap time. That's gonna cost me one, two. Oh, right there. So, did I get one? All right, I did turn a 118.235. So, let's go back to the pits. Uh, let's see here. Return to the garage. Session info 118.235. And let's start working on it. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that setup. Uh, save car setup. File name. Uh, let's say. Let's do setup. One. So there it's saved. Uh, so now let's go to custom setup.
And let's see, how do we edit that? <clears throat> I know you can edit that. Select and customize. R3. Alright, there we go. Aerodynamics. More downforce. Transmission. <coughs> Differential. Adjustment on throttle. Let's run that up to about 80. I'm going to leave that at 75, I think. Try that out. Suspension. I think I want to run that at negative. Two point five and negative or positive. Well, let me know. Try that right there. Front toe. Toe defines whether the leading edge of the tire points towards toe end. So, I'm thinking about 0.05 and rear at about point. Five oh, so it does. Suspension from suspension. <clears throat> Stiff into springs. We'll stop the car from lunging forward during aggressive braking. Or rearward under sudden acceleration. Alright, we're going to try going to 11. Front ride height, I think we're going to bring it up to about 7 and 7. See what that does. Brakes, I think we'll go 100% on the brake pressure. And the brake bias is going to be more towards the rear of the car. So the front 70%, rear 50%. That thing, that would, okay, that's how it's distributed, I guess. Go up to 50%. I see what that does. Tires. Right and left front. <clears throat> so the higher the tire pressure, the faster you're on the straights. The lower tire pressure, the more grip you've got. Let's pump them up about 23 so we can get out of that. Put these all the way up to 25. See what happens. All right. Save. Let's overwrite. And let's go to track. Times will speak for themselves. Feels a lot better. Uh oh. That didn't disqualify me with that one. Snapped it, I got down into neutral. <laughs> well, 
Look at the shit on the tires. <laughs> Got grass stuck to them. Isn't that cool? Strips right there, though. Took the strips a little better than that last time when I did that. Right at height is higher. Sixty-five thousand is what that looked like to me. Popped up again. I got a big TV, so I do believe it's a global leaderboard, though. track. and next lap invalidated. <laughs> so I don't like you leaving the track. So let's see here. Let's look at our time. Back to the garage. So my best is now. Oh yeah, look, it gives you a position, 65,344 uh, out of 101,038 players. I'm in the top 65% right now. That's pretty detailed information. Uh, all right, so uh, let's get back in there and dig some more. Transmission uh, 80. Suspension felt pretty good actually. On the geometry of it. Rear suspension. 
Stiffening springs will stop the car from lunging forward during aggressive braking or rearward under sudden acceleration. While this improves aerodynamic stability, an oversprung car can be very harsh on tires as well as skittish over bumps. It was kind of skittish over bumps. Let's go down on that. A stiff over will reduce the amount of body roll while turning into corners. But the load generated may cause the tires to be put under excessive loads during prolonged corners. Soft anti roll bars provide good traction throughout prolonged corners at a cost to initial responsiveness. Let's go two on that. We're going to bring the car down. Five. Brakes all right. Tires, I think all that's all right. We're going to leave that as is for now. We're going to save that. I probably should have put it set up too. That way I knew what I had with one. <coughs> I'll probably do that going forward. Let's go retract. Just a fly lap. I may go up on my saturation a little bit. Got mine at 20 right now. I may go to 30, maybe even 40 and try it out. Feeling good, it's feeling responsive. Oh no, we fucked it up there though. That'll kill us. It's totally went flying into that turn. May need to put that front wing back all the way up. That one Rolex turn, it does not seem like it wants to get through it very, very well. Like it needs to dive deeper in that turn. That could just be I need to slow down more. Right there, got me. Damn. Just a Rolex turn right here. I think it is. My bad, it's a tick. Ticket slow down more when you start coming up on that Rolex billboard or a bridge. Slow down a little bit. neutral and roll through that turn. Didn't penalize me that time.
got to slow down for that one. That was tiny two laps right there. Oh, I went up too soon. All right, let's go back. Check the time. Uh, what we just run? So we didn't improve. Uh, see, I don't have any assist on. I really don't want to go assist. R3. I think I need to run that front wing back up. Even that rear wing. I think my problem may be right here. So I need off throttle. Just comes differential effect away. Power is transmitted to the rear wheels. So unlocked is 50%, 100% is locked. Okay, I'm with you. I locked differential forces both driven wheels to rotate at the same speed advantages of more open setup are less tire wear and more gradual transition attraction tra traction loss whereas more locked setup may provide an advantage in outright traction all right so we won't let's try that Right there. Let's see. Save car setup, and we're going to call this setup two, and that's the one I will work on. See what we got. Taking those turns better. Letting the car rotate better. Since I raised those uh, differentials up, I can feel it. It's rotating easier into the turn. But unless I beat that car in front of me, it don't mean it's faster. I think I'm going to stomp them, to be honest. Yes, much better. Oh, son of a bitch. That been a solid lap, too. Alright, why did I not make that turn?
so that I'm having a little trouble driving it, obviously. <coughs> Can't keep it on track. So, let's see here. Use rival setup. Let's use rival setup. Apply rival setup. This will overwrite your current setup, okay? See what my rival setup feels like. <laughs> I haven't validated again because I left the track. Touch that grass, you got me. Let's see. So it feels pretty good. At least now I know what it feels like for his. We still, let's see, 117, 142 is our best lap. force just make minor adjustments so you know what that specific thing done for your car right Yet. I barely touched it. You ain't gonna give me a battle lap, ain't no sense me running a lap. Not really. So they don't like that at all. You cannot get away with that. Uh oh.
for the blue line. Uh, <laughs> he's just fucking invalidating my lap. It's pissing me off. <clears throat> Still get a lap time. Maybe taking that in water and diving into it would work, but that did not work out well. And there's two laps. <laughs> this and the next lap. Ah, let's see here. So we need to get that so it's turning a little better. or torque sheets are level aerodynamic performance bounce higher wing angles produce more downforce which improves grip but also increases drag okay transmission so if it's locked let's see here adjusting for an unlocked Differential will allow the driven wheels to turn at different speeds. Well, I think it's probably going to be way too low. But let's try that. Mountain body roll while turning into corners, but the load generator may cause the tires to be put under excessive load to turn for long corners. Check out better than it's taken it yet.
there you go. I beat my rival. I seen it. I seen it pop up. Let's see here. What a turn! Cause I was, I was scooting right there. We moved up to a sixty-four thousandth position. So I'm turning on one sixteen. Look, they're turning one oh sevenths. We got a long ways to go to find some one oh sevens, don't we? I got a cranking ass headache this morning, so. Fuel load, 6.8 laps. Can I, I can't adjust that either. It's locked, okay. Turn these up to 85s. Let's see what the difference is. And so we know that two just beat my rival. We're going to make this. Test. Three. Go to track. You bastard. Not running invalid laps. Not when I have it at the beginning like it. She's snappy a little bit right there. Let me have a... Hold on, that didn't work out. Let's just restart that. Drive air. I think. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I mean, you barely touch that damn corner. I think it's a little sensitive. There's that damn Rolex turn, my, my. A Rolex turn kicks my ass. I need to really focus on what turn that is and try and improve there. I could stand to improve a lot. I saw a bitch. Boy, just that barely cutting that little corner. Brutal on me. I'm having trouble with that, so. All I can figure is going up did not help. 
Uh, I don't want to work on my car. Uh, select. So I went up from 80 to 85. What if we take the rear, bring it down a little bit. So stiff spring, stop the car from lunging forward. I was sprung. Car can be harsh on tires as well as skills over bumps. Sorry, soft springs absorb bumps more effectively, but harsh acceleration or braking can pivot the car aggressively, causing a negative effect on aerodynamics. Want to take that up to about seven and seven. Let's see what that does for us. That would be pretty drastic, I would think. I noticed the car didn't get snappy right there. We made it through that little section without a penalty. That's positive. Stayed down lower in that turn. That's a positive. That turn much better. I think we just landed on something. We don't fuck this turn right here up. This lap is a 114.6. Well, we moved way up on that one. Let's check it out. We're beating our time trial. Whoop, whoop. That's the new setup we'll run. Until we figure out something faster. It's a uh, 114.06 is what we're running. I'll give y'all something to shoot for. I'm in the top 61%. Now it was 65%. So we're, we're moving in the right direction. All right, guys. I'm going to take a break. I got a headache. Go get some more coffee. Take some Tylenol. But I'll be back. We're going to work on this some more. We're going to tune it in. We're going to be a winner. Peace out.